coward dies hundreds of times, and a warrior only dies once. See, the pain of regret is the one pain in life that will last you a lifetime. I was just recently on YouTube and, you know, was um, scrolling through a few videos. And uh, since I've been making videos more like this, more raw talk kind of things, I've been recommended more of these videos. And one of them was a uh, YouTuber named Lance. Um, and I'm going to link his channel, more specifically his video, down below. And this video that he talked about was a regret that he had in high school that has lasted his entire life. He's 63 years old. And this man has lived with this pain for his entire life. See, when he goes and he talks about this story, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. right? He, he tells about when he was a kid in high school, uh, there was this girl uh, at the movie theater. He ended up, he, he was attracted to the girl and the girl was attracted to him. Uh, but he didn't have the confidence to pursue that girl. And the girl was obviously upset with him, especially I would imagine during that time um, when a male, I mean, specifically today as well, but when a male goes, they're supposed to make the first move, right? He didn't make a move. And she called him out on that. And never again did he talk to that girl. I don't know if he married. He didn't give any more context to it. It's a simple video, and I would highly encourage you guys to watch it after this video, and we'll put it down below. But once again, it is moving. It's upsetting. And it's a good thing to be recommended that, and, and good for him to be so vulnerable to let the world know about this. But the pain of regret is by far the worst pain that you could feel. See, because it's not a hurt. It's not a sharp pain. See, it's a dull pain that lasts. It doesn't go away. It's a guilt in yourself. Something that you could have done, you could have completed, but instead, you were the only obstacle that was in the way. You. And you know that. It's why you regret your decision. See, life is not a game of moving in the right direction. It's not a game of choosing the right path. See, life is a game of choosing your regrets. Because inevitably, we all can make better moves in lives. We could all do things that are better, going to have a better career maybe, going to have um, a better friend, a better family member, wh whatever it is, right? There's all these different situations. Uh, but ultimately, life is about regrets, and see, what regrets are you going to be able to live with for the rest of your life? Obviously, for Lance, um, this guy, 63-year-old man, he has struggled with that regret that he made, that decision he made in high school. And it's haunted him for all of those years after. The ripple effect of not being able to forgive yourself for your past. And see, instead of living in your present moment and loving yourself for who you are, the person that you made with all of the decisions that you made, all of the regrets that you have chosen, and living right now and fulfilling your duty as a man, your purpose, all of that is washed away because you made a decision that has altered your path 
that you cannot escape. And this video is not about you making the right decision. It's instead voicing the fact that decisions that you make today will affect your life. That doesn't mean they will dictate your life. It means they will have an effect on your life. And so you need to be weary and cautious of the things that you do and make sure that they align to the character that you are, the person you are. The identity that you give yourself, not what the world gives you, but what you create for yourself. Make sure those decisions align with that. Because inevitably, if they don't, do not align to your character, you will ultimately live in a reality that isn't yours. You will ultimately be living this shell of a life that could be yours. One where you're fully in the present. One where you are not focused on your past and the decisions that you made in the past or how your future could be so much better if you did this, this, and this. No, but instead living right now. Because all you have to do is forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Obviously, you were not the same person back then that you are right now. You are not. Things have changed. People move on. Your life keeps on going. The world keeps on spinning. And right now, the present moment is all that we have. And I read a few of those comments um, down below that video. And a lot of it is obviously... Um, kind of just reflecting on this man's life and how being a coward in your life will ultimately result in a life that no one wants. See, what a warrior does is they fight. They fight for not only what they believe in, they fight for themselves. And ultimately, a warrior will die, whether it's in battle, whether it's at um, the fault of his self or failing in some sort of way or inevitably of old age, right? A warrior does die, but he only has to die one time. See, a coward, every day they wake up, they die. See, a coward backs down when things get hard. Instead of pushing through like that warrior and getting to the other side and learning from mistakes and building new skills, a wool coward crumbles. So, I urge you, I urge myself. To forgive yourself. Forgive those around you. Learn from your mistakes. Build your skills. And pursue a better life. Because inevitably, it's what we're here for. Creating the person that we envision ourselves to be. So we can give that to the world. And they can become better as a result. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Talk to you on the next one.